Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. My next article that I would like to discuss for this evening uh, has to do with Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. And he makes um, some comments that I think are very, uh, I mean, could be interpreted in many ways. And I will try to uh, look at these um, statements and analyze them, I think, in the light of being so stupid. Uh, but it's like you celebrate your own uh, <clears throat> destruction. That's how I see them. But let's get uh, going and see what uh, Mr. Zelensky says. This article comes from uh, Ukrainska Pravda. It's from today, October 1st, 2022. And this is what Mr. Zelensky said where Russia held a quote-unquote referendum, now there is Ukrainian flag, Zelensky said. He's referring to uh, Liman, the city of Liman, in Donetsk Oblast, where the Ukrainian uh, forces just liberated the entire city. And the Russians uh, retreated, ran um, to avoid encirclement. That's very bad for the Russians. And remember, Liman is in Donetsk. Donetsk was uh, voted a referendum, right? And said, yes, we want with Russia. And then you have uh, Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia, and the uh, leaders of uh, Donetsk and the other three regions. They signed all kinds of agreements and in independence and all that. Okay. Now, the next step is for the uh, parliament, the Duma, and uh, the upper house of uh, Russia to vote, yes, we want this to be part of uh, Russia, and then that goes to somewhere else, a more signature, legalized, and then on Putin's desk, signed, and then it becomes official for the Russians that those territories are now Russia. Russia. That means the constitution applies and all the defensive mechanisms are activated for that. But there's a little problem, <laughs> to call it little. You have Ukrainian troops on your so-called territory that you legally, based on your procedures, and the referendum, referenda that was held, according to the Russians, and there were sub observers over there. Now what? So those people on those territories, according to the Russian-held referenda, voted to be part of Russia. These guys are there and they say, we liberate. What exactly are we liberating? Not the people. Because according to the Russians, the people voted democratically. We love democracy, don't we? Freedom and democracy spread to the Middle East. Remember that one? So they, they are going to conquer a territory that Russia considers its own, with people who that voted to join Russia, these guys are invaders. They don't liberate anybody. They grab territory, according to the Russians, and the will of the people. So then when Zelensky said that there's a, an Ukrainian flag over there on those things, he doesn't realize that that means you conquered someone else's territory according to that country. And then that territory voted, however you want to call them, sham, referenda, did not vote, it was just fake, people were made, they, however you want to call it. As of now, people voted. And this guy with the weapons go and take over. Now, should the United States tell the Ukrainians to go back because it's the people's you know, free expression? No, the Article 1 of the United Nations Charter, the right of people of self-determination. That's the first one, okay? And then sovereignty and independence should be respected and so on. If these guys voted, right, self-determination, and they, uh, you know, now it's a sovereign country, independent country, recognized by the guys that they want to join, right? Then what are you doing there? You are in violation of international law aren't you? 
Now, let's say, let's say you're not in violation of international law and you have the right to be there, okay, Zelensky, and you're advancing and the Russians are fleeing, okay? Then you can say, well, we're winning, we're winning. What exactly are you winning? Do you know where you're going? Yes, we're going to liberate our territories. Okay, and you're happy about it. But actually, the other guys have the capability in uh, three seconds to blow you up. You do not have that. They have it. And you fall right under their little strategy listed in using those weapons that will eradicate you in a second. So it's like you go, oh my God, it's so hot outside. I'm going to just dive in this river here and I'm going to take a little bit of a swim over here. And you jump in and you're, oh my God, whoa, it's so cool, so good. And that uh, river, that water is infested with, let's say, crocodiles. <laughs> and you're told, hey, you see that sign over there? Don't jump in. Don't go in the water. There's crocodiles. Once you get in, you expose yourself to be <clears throat> by the crocodiles. It's okay. I'm just going. You're so happy when you swim. So that's where Zelensky is going deeper and deeper in the water. That's how I see, I see this guy right now. Remember in the First World War, when there were so many tensions and so many alliances before, before the First World War. They say Second First World War. Before the First World War, before the 1914, okay, before 1914, I was about to say 2014, yeah, before that too. So before the 1914, before the First World War, there were so many territories that people claimed uh, that's my territory. It's always been like this in Europe and will be. You can't uh, satisfy everybody over there because have long history living to one another and conquering one another and it's like that and uh, like you think here that the mexicans are feeling okay with uh, the purchases of uh, those territories after the little mexican uh, american war <laughs> no they just don't say it or you don't want to hear it or you don't hear it because these guys don't promote that kind but they're not happy about it and they will never be happy about it unless they're and they're not okay so when the first world war before the first world war started everybody was blah, 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 blah. when they said well we declare war to you we declare war against you oh well we declare oh and then we declare and then we declare and then remember it was not germany that started this the first world war it was uh austria hungary and what well, i think the serbs right so then, why were, why were the Germans, uh, at the end, the people, they were beaten the hardest? And if you ask people about who lost the First World War, you will not say that Austria-Hungary or Turkey, which was also a line of, a line of this. No, you're going to say definitely Germany. Why Germany? Germany just declared war because it was in an alliance with uh, Austria-Hungary and so on. They declared war on the blank of being an alliance. When the Germans and all the others, other armies were going to war, First World War, they were singing patriotic songs and they were all happy. They will strengthen things out. They will solve the problem. They were all singing. Where were they going? To the front. What's happening over there? You die. And you kill other people. So they were all happy going to death. So the same Zelensky is all happy, liberating, but he's getting closer, closer to those guys' finger dropping on those missiles. So yeah, celebrate. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.